this episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are highlighting the painting department of SFIAO. But before we go to see the painters, we should go to Jeff Gunderson to have a brief history of painting because I don't know what question I will ask. So. Oh. Well, painting faculty have always been stupendous here from the very beginning of time. You know, that really started. Painting and sculpture were probably the first things that were ever offered here in the yeah. 19th century. Like Barry yeah. McGee? Yeah. yeah. Oh, for he the came, He came here as McGee. Twist, you know, who was yeah. a uh, graffiti artist. A graffiti artist. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, probably in the early, late 80s, early 90s. And um, he managed to be one of the main people who kind of moved a lot of that graffiti aesthetic from the streets to the galleries and to museums without selling his soul, with keeping that as honest and as solid as he possibly could, as you could in that situation in yeah. that world. Or even people like Kehinde Wiley, who was a painter here, who just oh. finished up uh, you know, the presidential, official presidential portrait of Barack Obama yeah. the other day. It was Jeff Gunderson, a uh, great librarian of SFI. Thank you. Right. Now, let's go meet the painters. They have their own studio there upstairs. Come follow me. This is just a fabric piece that I'm still kind of figuring out, but it's got a rhinoceros on a skateboard and a coyote face and yeah. I should show this one. There's a toilet. Got another toilet. Another toilet. They all got their own. Jason Wolcott, MFA painter. This is my studio. <laughs> I'm from Los Angeles, and this is my process. I like to paint fast. I'm Mexican, I'm Native American, I'm a surfer, skateboarder, and I like to use colors that I find within my environment, or usually in California on surf trips. Um, Right in the mountains, in the sea. From fruits. I like French toast. You can get a little clip of those. Those are some recent drawings I did a, on some, some monsters.
Here's a recent poem. This will be in a show next week in the Swell Gallery. Bunch of crabs. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today we're very honored to be in the presence of Jeremy Morgan. I don't think he needs any introduction. He is a very famous painter, SFA alum, a mentor, and a teacher since, since 1989. 89, 89, correct. 89. And today we get to ask him some questions. And Jeremy, thank you very much for my pleasure. Your call my pleasure. And be there for this interview. From the very beginning, what made you become a painter? Two people. My father, people. who was an academic and scholar, but a very good amateur painter, who I watched make paintings when I was a schoolboy, infant. And by the time I was old enough to understand what he was doing, he let me start to paint. Yeah. And so I physically had the chance to put a brush into color and move it across paper. That was the first instance of doing it. And then that never left me. When I was out in an environment, not necessarily seeing people or things, but when I saw nature, I had a desire to somehow record it or react to it in a way that I could leave some kind of mark. And mm -hmm. uh, painting became a natural way. Uh, I knew about cameras, I knew about photography in time, but drawing and painting felt most natural to me. You talk a lot with music also, musicality and in the painting. So are you yourself a musician? Uh, I, was I, I think the term is musician monkey. Monkey? Okay, yes. <laughs> I, I can make noises on a piano and a guitar that I could find quite enthralling, but nobody else would. So I don't ever subject other people to it. But in all seriousness, I have an electronic keyboard in my studio, and I'll often make quite a lot of sound for myself, literally to, to, to put me into a mood space. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I enjoy in cinema soundtracks as, as much as the film. I like the combination of, of either sound itself or music in films. Obviously, it can be exhausted and overdone, but. In the films of something like Tarkovsky, the soundscapes are mm. perfect parallels to the visuals, and they, they each informs the other. So in that sense, I usually paint to music, uh, or I paint to uh, occasionally the radio, which is you know not very intrusive depending on the channel I'm on, but often it's music, and often I will listen to films as soundtracks. I don't watch the films; I just films I know or like the the ideas of. I listen to when I'm painting. Tradition in SFAI is. Uh, to take what is a fine art and push as far as you can to understanding what that might mean. And what I say to people all the time, partially in jest but also meaningfully, is that fine art in many senses is practically seemingly useless but fundamentally vital mm. in terms of culture, yeah. as is all art in a sense. Thank you very much, Jeremy, My for pleasure. answering your question today. My pleasure. Thank that you very awesome. much. <laughs> Each time you go in my mind, it goes like, it goes like crazy. <laughs> Next episode, we're going to see the film department of SFAI.